Hey guys, how about we play Pokemon Crystal, the Joey Challenge? So my little brother told me that I need to go to Seafoam or whatever. And I didn't know where that was, but he says... He said, uh, what did he say exactly? Well, he said I said should surf from Cinnabar. By the way, last time, if you didn't get to see it, you should, it was awesome. I found Blue here on Cinnabar Island, talked to him. He told me to meet him at the Viridian Gym. So I did, and I totally kicked his butt. It was great. I guess it's impossible to swim all the way to Johto. Though I bet that he has a Pokemon that could learn Surf. Swimmer Boy Cameron sent out Meryl. Oh yeah, Meryl can learn Surf. Anyway. If I do find Seafoam Islands, I hope that's a name, that'd be really awkward if it wasn't. Anyway, <laughs> I plan on finding and defeating the gym leader Blaine. ay -ah! So yeah, there's that. No. Ooh, promising. I just need to- is this it? What does the sign say? Cinnabar Gym, Leader Blaine, but the- Alright, I won't complain. Oh, is it actually- Okay, I guess it's the cave. In we go. Ah, fake a name. Okay, this is really weird. But, alright, whatever. I'll save, as always, in case he wants to fight me right here. Whoa! My gym in Cinnabar burned down! My fire-breathing Pokémon and I are homeless because of the volcano! Whoa! I realize now that those are waz. But I'm back in business as a gym leader here in this cave. If you can beat me, I'll give you a badge. Ha! Huh, you'd better have burn heal. Yeah, we'll see who's burned by the end of this one, Blaine. Leader Blaine. He kind of looks like the Monopoly guy. Mr. Moneybags, right? Macargo. What's even better about this is he only has three Pokémon. Not to mention, they're all lower level... Like, lower levels than, um, Blue's Pokémon were. Oh, though I... I did expect Return, though, to finish him off. Oh, is he part rock? Because that would explain it. Oh, we know Magmar. Magmar sucks. Well, you know, just... <laughs> I'm joking when I say that, though, to be honest, Magmar never really did appeal to me as a Pokémon. Neither did Electabuzz or Jinx, you know, those three, they looked weird. I got that they were going for a humanoid kind of thing, but they were... Too weird. I don't know. Electabuzz was fat, too. And Jinx was kind of fat. And Magmar was stiff with a bulbous head. But anyway, back to the game. Look what just happened, guys. Leader Blaine was defeated. Awesome. I've burned out. You've earned Volcano Badge! Within the first five minutes of the video. Kudos to- Who was that in the corner? Joey received Volcano Badge. I did lose this time, but I'm going to win the next time. When I rebuild my Cinnabar Gym, we'll have to have a rematch. Seriously, has he been here the whole time? Yo! Huh? It's over already? Sorry, sorry! Cinnabar Gym was gone, so I didn't know where to find you. But hey, you're plenty strong even without my advice. I knew you'd win. Oh, you're that dude. Okay. Okay, well... Now, that brings up a good question. How many badges do I have? And I still don't know how to look that up. Somehow in here? No, but that's soothing. 
Okay, well... From here, where can I really go? Let's see what's over here. Paint, paint, just a little farther to Fuchsia! Oh, you can do it, dude. I believe in you. You can do it. Swimmer Boy Tucker. I was so supportive, and now I'm going to knock out his Pokémon. What a terrible person I am. Oh, and on a random note... Well, yeah, it is random, I guess. I apologize for not having posted anything last night. Um, see, this is the week right before finals for me. So we had all our big projects due, and I'm kind of a procrastinator. Not to mention that I didn't realize all the due dates were suddenly forced to, like, today. So yeah. I'm drowning! Oh, frick. I gotta save him. I asked my girlfriend to swim to Fuchsia. Guess. Well, oh, is this her? I'm disgusted by wimpy people. Oh, that is a terrible way to start a conversation. Maybe not so terrible a way to start a battle. Swimmer Girl Dawn. See, even if I don't find anything surfing this way, at least I'm getting some experience. But trust me, I'll need all I can get. Ugh. I mean, I'm looking forward to finding and fighting Red, but geez. I could beat you at swimming. Well, I don't need to swim, because I have a Pokemon. Have you ever gone swimming in the sea at night? I've never gone swimming in the game. That'd be kind of cool to introduce that function. Swimmer Boy Herald. Like, maybe introduce, like, shallower waters that you can swim across. But then for the big tricks, you need, you know, your Pokemon. I don't know, could be interesting. Stop using return. Back to Hyperfang. <laughs> We're getting so close. Swimmer Boy Harold was defeated. Glub. Um. Let's find the border of this. Oh, there it is. Alright, back forward we go. To the north! Swimming? I'm lousy at it. I'm just splashing around in these shallow waters. See? That's exactly what shallow waters, and you just splash around, and it's cool. But then when you get to deeper waters, ride a Pokemon. Swimmer Boy Jerome. Thank you for illustrating my point, Jerome. That was like perfect timing. Maybe this battle? Yeah, this battle, definitely. Even if they are weak Pokémon. Oh. That was close. One more. Tanacruel will deliver. Alright. And with that, Rattata's level 87. 176 attack, 134 defense, 120 special attack, 138 special defense, and 188 speed. Six, six, six experience points. Oh my gosh, that golden was evil. I thought I could win. What? Rattata's evolving? No. 
I might be bad at swimming, but I love the sea. Good. Route 19, Fuchsia City, Seafoam Island. Oh, now it's clear. Finally. The road work is finally finished. Now I could go fishing again. Yay. I'm all sweaty. Time for a swim. Oh, I'm getting out of here. Good, okay. We're better now. Uh, where do I want to go? I've already fought, like, every one. Huh. Well. Maybe because I don't know where to go, I should just go see about, like, challenging the Elite Four again. And you good folks can tell me what to do in the comments for the next time I record. Which, by the way, is tomorrow night. Yeah, so let's go do that. Let's go challenge the Elite Four. So remember, I'm going to be relying on you guys this time, because I have a couple times in the past, you know. I will not look anything up. I will leave it up to you. Tell me where I'm supposed to go now. Welcome to Pokemon League, Joey. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Will. I have trained all around the world, making my psychic Pokemon powerful. And at last, I've been accepted into the Elite Four. I can only keep getting better. Losing is not an option! I wonder if they're stronger yet. Elite Four will sent out Zatu. I don't think they're any stronger. But at least it'll be good for experience, right? Remember guys, tell me in the comments. Cause I, you know, love you and all that. Yeah, this'll be good for experience. Unless I die. Then that'll just be awkward. Oh crap, I also hope I don't have to use any, like, ethers or elixirs. I shouldn't, because the first time I went through, I didn't have return, right? I think then I was still using quick attack. So since I have two different moves, you know, that I use for their power, I should be okay. Okay. There, I just convinced myself I'll be okay. No need to worry. Rattata has this. In a bag. Oh no! Oh good. Good thing I'm not using a special attack. Otherwise, I hate moves like Barrier. Ugh. Make everything horrible. Alright, one more Zatu. Keep going. And we're good. And there, Will was defeated without a scratch on Rattata. I... I can't believe it. Even though I was defeated, I won't change my course. I will continue battling until I stand above all trainers. Now, Joey, move on and experience the true ferocity of the Elite Four. Okay. Koga! <laughs> I am Koga of the Elite Four. I live in shadows and ninja. My intricate style will confound and destroy you. Confusion, sleep, poison. Prepare to be the victim of my sinister technique. Fwahahaha! <laughs> Pokemon is not merely about brute force. You shall see soon enough. He really shouldn't have included that or the final lap, I don't think. I think the line, you know, before the fwahaha <laughs> was sufficient. Elite Four Koga wants to battle. I mean, that would have been a good ending, right? Good start to the battle. Oh, it's like when people are giving speeches and they say something awesome, and so everyone claps, and they think that you think that they're done, but then they keep going, and you're like, oh, that was awkward, you know? No, that sucks.
Every time I use Hyper Fang, I'm afraid it's gonna miss. Thankfully, it's only done that once so far. In the course of the this Elite Four run, at least. Uh, Fortress, he was a hard one. I think I got him last time with a Super Fang and a Hyper Fang, right? If so, I'm trying that again. Oh, and I love how Spikes has absolutely no effect on my performance. I'm not gonna be switching out. I never have this game. Alright, it didn't finish him off one hit last time, but now? Now that he's stronger, heck yeah. And Crobat. You little devil. Oh good! Again, like, even when Rattata misses, <laughs> the attacks don't hurt him. Or they miss too, like, so it's awesome. Elite Four Koga was defeated, still not a scratch on Rattata. Ah, you have proven your worth. I subjected you to everything I could muster. But my efforts failed. I must hone my skills. Go on to the next room and put your abilities to the test. Will do, Koga. Thank you. For your vote of confidence. Okay guys, here's the hard part. I am Bruno of the Elite Four. I always train to the extreme because I believe in our potential. That is how we become strong. Can you withstand our power? Hmm? I see no fear in you. You look determined. Perfect for battle. Ready, Joey? You will bow down to our overwhelming power. Hoo-ha! Overwhelming power. And I assume this will be the last battle, seeing as it's like 17 minutes and 40 seconds now. Hit him on top. Bring it on. Yeah, again, Machamp is who I'm really worried about here. We will see what happens. Root for me. I know you will. We've been through this together, after all. I mean, this isn't just my journey, it's not just mine or Tata's journey, it is our journey, dang it. Okay, him only has gone. I remember having troubles last time with him on chat. Oh! Guys, here's where we're gonna have a scratch on Rattata. Cause him on chan loves using Mock Punch. Yep, told you. I predicted it pretty accurately. Also, I know I had a Hyper Fang left, but I was kind of feeling spiteful toward Hitmonchan, because he was a jerk and hurt Rattata. So I wanted to give him the full force. Okay, guys, Machamp. Oh, snap. It's Machamp. Return, Rattata! I mean, use Return! Ah, oh, no. Mixed up orders. It's a good thing my little scrappy buddy is pure awesomeness. Yeah, see that? Machamp was down in one hit. He didn't stand a chance. Oh, okay. Rock type. Don't like those. Uh, let's do what we did with Fortress, because I don't remember what strategy I used the first time I ran through the Elite Four. Okay, so this time Rattata took a little bit of damage in this battle, but that's okay. Um, this is where I expected um, the most of my difficulties. And against, like, Gengar. Oh, really? Why? How could we lose? Having lost, I have no right to say anything. Go face your next challenge. Right, guys. So I'll just save right here. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed that. If you did, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And guys, make sure to comment and tell me what I'm doing next time, because I really don't know. Tune in next time for my next video, and until then, take care.